What's up, everybody? And today we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and a little bit grim. The top 10 countries people regret moving to. Now, moving to a new country is a huge deal. It's exciting, it's scary, and it's a decision that's often driven by big dreams. Whether it's landing your dream job, chasing adventure, or just wanting a fresh start. But here's the thing. Not every move works out the way we hope. So buckle up because we're about to uncover the top 10 countries where people end up wishing they'd stayed put. We're counting down from number 10, where regret is the lowest, all the way to number one, where people are packing their bags and heading straight back home. Let's get into it. All right, kicking off our list at number 10 is Canada. Now, I know what you're thinking, Canada, the land of maple syrup, breathtaking scenery and some of the nicest people on the planet. How could anyone regret moving there? Well, it turns out that even a country as seemingly perfect as Canada has its downsides. For some expats, the reality of living in the Great White North doesn't quite live up to the hype. One of the biggest complaints, the weather. I mean, let's be real, Canada is known for its long, harsh winters. And for people who aren't used to sub-zero temperatures and mountains of snow, it can be a serious shock to the system. The cost of living, especially in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver, can be a real eye-opener. Housing in particular can be insanely expensive, even compared to other global cities. Don't get me wrong, Canada is still a fantastic country with a lot to offer, but for some expats, the reality of living here just doesn't live up to the postcard perfect image. Coming in at number nine is the United Kingdom, a land of rich history, iconic landmarks, and let's be honest, some pretty questionable weather. One of the biggest gripes about living in the UK is, you guessed it, the weather. Picture this, gray skies, constant drizzle, and a dampness that seems to seep into your bones. But it's not just the weather that's putting a damper on the expat experience. The cost of living, especially in London, can be astronomical. Rent, groceries, transportation, it all adds up. Long hours and a work hard, play hard culture are the norm, especially in certain industries like finance and law. And while the UK has a national health service, NHS, long wait times and a bureaucratic system can make it frustrating to navigate. The UK has a lot going for it, but for some expats, the reality of living there just doesn't quite live up to the expectations. If you found this video helpful, please support our channel by hitting the like button, sharing and subscribing. Coming in hot at number eight is Brazil, a country known for its stunning beaches, vibrant culture, and the contagious energy of its people. But even in a place as seemingly paradise-like as Brazil, some expats find themselves longing for home. One of the biggest concerns for expats in Brazil is safety. Crime rates can be high, especially in major cities like Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Then there's the language barrier. While Portuguese is the official language, English isn't as widely spoken. Brazil is notorious for its red tape and even simple tasks can turn into a bureaucratic nightmare. The economic situation in Brazil has been struggling, leading to high inflation and unemployment. Despite its many challenges, Brazil is still a country with a lot to offer. But for some expats, the reality of living there can be overwhelming. Coming in at number seven is France, the land of romance, fine dining and a certain je ne sais quoi. One of the biggest complaints from expats in France is the difficulty of integrating with locals. While many French people do speak English, you'll definitely encounter situations where knowing French is essential. The cost of living, especially in major cities like Paris, can be surprisingly high. Another challenge for expats in France is the work-life balance, or lack thereof. The French bureaucracy can be a real headache. France is an amazing country with a rich history and stunning architecture, but for some expats, the reality of living there can be a bit too much to handle. The difficulty of integrating the cost of living, the work-life balance and the bureaucracy can be overwhelming. Coming in at number six is China, a country of ancient history, bustling cities and a culture that's both fascinating and a little bit intimidating. One of the biggest challenges for expats in China is the language barrier. Mandarin Chinese is notoriously difficult to learn. And while English is becoming more common in major cities, venturing outside of those urban hubs can be a linguistic minefield. Chinese culture is vastly different from Western culture, and navigating those cultural differences can be a minefield. China has a heavily censored internet, 
meaning access to websites and social media platforms like Google, Facebook and Instagram is restricted. China's rapid industrialization has come at a cost and air pollution is a major problem in many cities. China is an incredible country with a rich history and vibrant culture. But for some expats, the challenges, the language barrier, the cultural differences, the censored internet and the pollution outweigh the rewards. The intimidation factor lands China on our list of countries people regret moving to. At number five, we have Japan, a land of technological marvels, ancient traditions, and a culture that's both captivating and a little bit confusing. One of the biggest challenges for expats in Japan is the work culture. Japanese people are incredibly hardworking and long hours are the norm. The language barrier is another significant challenge. Japanese is a notoriously difficult language to learn with three different writing systems and countless nuances and formalities. Japan has its fair share of red tape. Japanese society places a high value on conformity and harmony and standing out from the crowd is generally frowned upon. Japan is an amazing country with a rich culture and stunning scenery. But for some expats, the challenges, the work culture, the language barrier, the bureaucracy and the social pressure outweigh the rewards. Coming in at number four, we have the United States, the land of opportunity, freedom, and a whole lot of contradictions. One of the biggest concerns for expats in the US is the healthcare system. Unlike many developed countries, the US doesn't have universal healthcare. The issue of gun violence is another major concern. The US has a much higher rate of gun violence than any other developed country. The political climate in the US is deeply divided and political tensions have been running high in recent years. The cost of living, especially in major cities like New York, Los Angeles and San Francisco, is incredibly expensive. The US is a country with a lot to offer, but for some expats, the challenges, the healthcare system, the gun violence, the political climate and the cost of living outweigh the rewards. Have you moved to a new country? Share your experiences in the comments below. Coming in at number three is Mexico, a country of vibrant culture, stunning beaches, and some of the best food in the world. One of the biggest concerns for expats in Mexico is safety. While tourist areas are generally safe, venturing outside of those areas can be risky. The language barrier is another significant challenge. While Spanish is the official language, English isn't as widely spoken as you might think. Mexico is notorious for its red tape. The cultural difference can also be a challenge. Mexico is an incredible country with a rich history and vibrant culture, but for some expats, the challenges, the safety concerns, the language barrier, the bureaucracy and the cultural differences outweigh the rewards. Coming in at number two is Belarus, a country often overlooked on the world stage, but one that's recently gained notoriety as a place expats are choosing to leave. One of the most significant hurdles for expats in Belarus is the language barrier. While Russian is widely spoken, English proficiency is relatively low. The cultural landscape of Belarus can be difficult for some expats to adjust to. The political climate of Belarus is another major concern. The economic opportunities in Belarus are relatively limited. Belarus does offer a lower cost of living compared to many Western countries. But the challenges posed by the language barrier, cultural differences, political climate and limited economic opportunities contribute to a sense of regret for many expats. Belarus is a country that many expats find challenging to live in. And finally, topping our list at number one is Vietnam, a country of breathtaking landscapes, delicious food and a rich cultural heritage. One of the most common complaints is the pervasive presence of scams and petty crime targeting foreigners. Hygiene standards in Vietnam can be a major source of discomfort for expats. The language barrier in Vietnam can be particularly challenging. The cultural differences between Vietnam and Western countries can also contribute to expat regret. Vietnam undoubtedly possesses a unique charm and allure, but the prevalence of scams, hygiene concerns, language barriers and cultural differences have left many expats feeling disillusioned. Vietnam is a country that many expats regret moving to. The challenges of living in Vietnam can be overwhelming for some expats. So there you have it. The top 10 countries people regret moving to 
From the bustling streets of Hanoi to the charming canals of Venice, it seems no country is immune to expat regret. Remember, moving abroad is a huge decision, one that shouldn't be taken lightly. It's about more than just beautiful scenery or exciting job opportunities. It's about finding a place where you feel safe, comfortable, and most importantly, at home. If you're considering a move abroad, do your research. Talk to people who have lived in your potential new home, visit for an extended period, and really immerse yourself in the culture. Because while moving abroad can be an incredible adventure, it's not for the faint of heart.